Once upon a time, there were a kid named, um, he was born in the year 2003, when he was about 10 years old, he, he, for his 10th birthday gift, his birthday was in October, and his 10th birthday gift was the best video game you may all have heard of, Grand Theft Auto 5, he got Grand Theft Auto oh, 5 for Christmas. Yeah, no, I mean for his birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna. By the way, before we continue the story, do you want to hear more stories like this? Just leave a thumbs up and subscribe and hit those notification bells once you subscribe. If you want to hear more, why well, I meanwhile when I play Fortnite or video games or whatever, and I play tell stories with commentary. So yeah, let's continue the story. I'm gonna restart it. Once upon a time, there were a little boy named. We're not gonna. His name doesn't matter, but he was born in the year 2003. And during his childhood, he watched this one cartoon. Well, he was he was like me. He was born without any parental controls. So he watched this one cartoon that you may have heard of, Happy Tree Friends. He would watch it every day, every time he was done with school. Yeah, after school you watch this happy tr the show Happy Tree Friends. And then when he was 10, he kind of outgrowed Happy Tree Friends. He still watched it every now and then, but... And for his, and this, for his 10th birthday, he got this one game called Grand Theft Auto V when he was 10 on his birthday in October. So... He loves them once he played Grand Theft Auto V. He loved the game. He loved oh, okay. the game he so like much. Don't have a microphone. That's fine. He loved this game so Let's much sure that we, he we would literally. Well. Unless one of you guys do have sorry, one, but can't you don't hear. feel like picking one up. He play. He plays. He loved Grand Theft Auto V. It was the best game he ever played. Yeah, even though he was too young, was one time back in early 2017, I mean to early January of 2014, he was playing online. He just started playing GTA online. And then before a year later, he this one player ra raged at him because he's a little kid playing. He was only like a 10-year-old. He's not really a little kid, but yeah, he was playing video game. He loved to grind up Auto Five so much. And this one guy, and this one guy, that wasn't very nice to him, said, "Let me guess, have you ever watched kid-friendly shows before? Since you're like a little kid, you're ten years old." And he said, and the ten-year-old kid said, "I have watched that. You, my, what was your child?" And the guy asked, "What was your childhood?" cartoon character he said then he said giddles are oops and but then the, the adult man guy or whatever said uh, I don't know what who the hell is giddles is that from a baby show um, and then this kid replied kind of it's from a show called happy tree friends so and then the guy laughed and then he called him a autistic and a whole bunch of mean things and and yeah the story does not end here keep on watching I'm sorry for the bad word by my cuss so watch out hmm and then a year later in 2015 around when he turned 12 because he was born in 2003 and 12 years later he was a, his first 12th birthday. He uh, he would ha ask Rockstar, our known was Rockstar Games, uh, the developer as if you know I'm talking about Rockstar, the company of Rockstar is the company of this video game called Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption 2 and others. So he called Rockstar for GTA 6 and wondering if they they wondering if GTA 6 is coming out and when it's going to be like and stuff. But then the boy asked when, so he asked one of the staff, and this staff named Joseph, when this rude ass member, and he said, 
When when he asked him after a few questions, he finally had to talk about GTA 6. And but then Joseph, or knowing the work, one of the workers from Rockstar said, "Hey, we can't tell you when GTA 6 is going to come out. This has nothing to do with the technical support." And so he, but then then you know, Joseph also said that if if your questions are only about GTA 6 on a game that's not released yet that then you will will have to end this call together so so this kid just doesn't give up really a fuck or two shits about it so he keeps asking when GTA 6 and was what in the last so I had to tell him the last time he told him before Joseph hanged up said I know I want GTA 6 and he said can you make can I maybe own you like a hundred dollars Ask my dad for a hundred dollars and I can buy it for you. Then Joseph just didn't want to accept it and then he, he, they had to end the call. Then and the kid was kind of upset because he was just wondering when GTA 6 but but the Joseph guy was just so fucking rude and he couldn't he did and the kid didn't stop and what he did next is every single day he would call Rockstar for the Next 12 months, then a year after his 12th birthday, he turned into a teenager. Ooh. And every single day since then, he asked Rockstar, when is GTA 6 come out? And guess what? Joseph got the same reply from the kid like 365 and times are known as a man. How many days are in the year? He, Joseph was getting sick and tired when he was saying that you're gonna call from um, this kid, kid every day, uh, so. Robot. 356 mortal, you're. You're gonna be in the store sorry now. Sorry about this, guys. Please move. So yeah, G. Sorry about that. I'm gonna continue. So it's GTA 6. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot playing the Wild West game mode. Yeah, G. When he just he just. So yeah, what did Rockstar did next? They canceled GTA 6. Cause like Joseph was just getting sick and tired of hearing the kid. Then the world was very pissed when GTA 6 got canceled. See you. And when GTA 6 got cancelled, the world was just pissed. And it was all because of this boy. And his parents grounded him for like a year over that. Well, not a year, like half a year, six months. I saw this. I mean, six yes, months. It, um, after six months of being grounded, he finally left the room. He was in there for six months and only eight months a day. And then... He didn't call, keep calling about GTA 6, and then he saw it. And then in 2016, he watched the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. Even though the game was trash. But either way, he was, he's gonna play. And then he was gonna play that. What are we doing? And this. And then GTA 6. Not now, I'm playing I the mean, game. Red Dead Redemption 2 was. He was gonna play it, and then, but then back in 2016, what am I gonna say to continue the story? So in 2016, he just watched the trailer, and then what was what else I'm gonna say? I don't want to end the story. Just hold on, guys. I'll continue the story soon. Yeah, he, he saw the Red Dead Redemption oh, yeah, 2 enemy. trailer, so... But then he did something to Rockstar that... He was gonna ask, as, please, and then he asked Rockstar. Then he asked the Rockstar, When is GTA 6, I mean Ro Red Dead Redemption 2, gonna come out? Enemies over there. Red Dead Redemption 2, when, when is it gonna come out? And, and then they say 2017. So he waited another year, like we're saying a lot. Waited a year and then fall when he came out to fall. 2017 it really came, did not came out. Let's go, the storm. So the in. kid was pissed again, and then, then he was getting mad at Rockstar, so he called him and say, he raised his voice and say, hey, when is what? you better release Red Dead Redemption 2, or oh. else I'm gonna do something really horrible to your okay. company. But then this, then he called, then the other guy just hanged up. Then he called Rockstar one more time for that day. Watch out, enemy! And Joseph oh. was one. 
Yeah, the guy. I guess he, he don't called spy enemies. Okay, hopefully they don't spot us from here. So yeah, when Joseph and he called Joseph once again, and he know this kid is from before, when he called for GTA Six. So and then other people he has Red Dead Redemption Two to ask the Xbox and release it earlier. But then Joseph wanted to just hang up on the kid, and then he just, unlike when GTA Six he came out. Even though it just got cancelled in the story. Then the, the kid just waited for Red Dead Redemption 2. Then it, then it came out two years later and then it was fall 2018. Then he played it. Kind of loved it. But then he's going to wonder like he did the GTA 6. He was going to wonder when his Red Dead Redemption 3 or when is the next Rockstar game going to be. So he, so he told Rockstar... Let's go. When is the next, what is the, whatever is the next GTA or the, what is the next Rockstar game going to be? So he asks the company, and then they say, like, a whole bunch of rude fucks. They say, you can't tell us. And then, so then the boy I just... I heard some enemies, I swear to God. And the boy just ruined entertainment. Oh my God. So yeah, then after that, after some years has passed, he's now an adult, no longer a kid. He played some games. I mean... He just wanted to play GTA 6 so bad, I mean it. And I think that's gonna have to wrap up today's video. Record till these he ruined every entertainment possible, the Happy Tree Friend movies. The Happy Tree Friend movie and everything. So I can make the story though. He, and, then, and then eventually Rockstar died because of this one kid. So yeah, that's it for today's story. Leave a like, subscribe, and put that notification bell and comment down below.